this is what I was cutting off. Um, it was a nicer angle and then came out to there, but when I cut it off before, that made quite a sharp angle there. And this is the entrance here, so I don't want it to be super sharp. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to go with this. I have made some little changes. Very first time we go out is going to be, um, I don't know, like a week or two before we head off on our first big trip, which is gonna be to Adelaide, which is pretty far. <laughs> um, we are situated, I don't know, like halfway down the east coast of Australia. Maybe a bit further than half, I'm not exactly sure. I've never really measured it. But um, Adelaide is sort of like, bottom middle of of australia and so uh i think map says it's about oh, it's over 20 hours so um before we do that big trip i want to do a shorter trip to make sure that what i have in here works um so i've sort of made it a little bit bare bones and i have removed the the large drawer which was in that that space there, can't point, that space. <laughs> and uh, the shorter drawer, which was just behind me here, is now there. Um, so I'm gonna see how it works with just that one drawer. Now, I've got it so that it's gonna open. <laughs> Jesus, I fell down a hole. <laughs> uh, I've got it so that it's gonna open towards the inside. And I'm gonna... So it does mean that we can only access, I don't know, we can access a little bit of that. Well, that could still work. I have to shorten this as well. So you can see where the end of the bed is there. That's the end of the bed frame. And I have to shorten this mattress by about that much. Um, that's what I'm gonna do next. But anyway, so um, I can access this from in here. And we have a little bit of extra space just to sort of sit in, as long as I don't fall down this hole again. <laughs> I guess that's a part of the engine that isn't meant to be covered so that it can be accessed if there's any issues. Oh, I'm exhausted. Those things are really heavy. They're good solid wood, which is nice. Um, this is what I did the other day. Let me point the camera around for you. I cut this support piece here. As you can see, this is under the bed, okay? Um, and that supports this side of the bed frame. Uh, I cut that uh, wheel arch, <coughs> wheel well? Oh, it's a wheel arch. I've been calling it a wheel well. Maybe it is a wheel well. Maybe it depends which side you're looking from. Anyway, I cut that shape out of it. <laughs> so now it fits over the wheel hump, that works. And um, there is also room for my cello which is one of the important reasons uh, that I wanted a bigger van or a, a, a bigger space to camp in. So yes, I previously in our Prius, um, I got the roof pod so that I could put my cello in the roof pod, which, which worked really well. And I chose that roof pod specifically because um, some roof pods are quite short and I needed one that was long enough to fit my cello in. Uh, so that you know we could go on longer trips and I can still have my cello lessons which I take via Skype so I can do them anywhere where I am as long as there's a, um, a some sort of internet connection uh, so that will be space for my cello it it does take up an awful lot of space which is somewhat unfortunate I should have chosen like a piccolo or something to play instead <laughs> that would have been so much easier so the bed has this gap here, oh, you can see the wheel well, just, oh, just there. Um, and that is okay. I don't think we're gonna fall off the bed. Uh, the width is still good. This is my test setup. I do wanna have lots more storage space, obviously. And I do want to have some sort of um, cupboards and things. I would like to put some cupboards up against this um cage thing because uh, i think that would be the perfect place for it and then the space in the middle will still mean that we can access the 
the front seat. And these are all just ideas at the moment because I haven't actually been out in it yet. We slept one test night in it, just out on the street. <laughs> and um, that was cool. That was cool. But I mean, we didn't have all of our gear with us, so it wasn't a proper test. It was really just... I suppose to see if the mattress was comfortable and it is but yes we need to go out in it for at least a couple of nights with all our gear to to check it out see what's going to fit where and that will then give me a further idea on how i can build this so that it works for us to have a really long trip in it now the trip to adelaide is going to be decently long it'll be a minimum of two weeks I reckon. I think as long as we've got all our camping gear, even if it's a bit scattered around, and even if I'm just using like plastic storage tubs or something, I think it'll still work in this space. Uh, because if we could do all that in the Prius with hardly any space, we can very easily do that in here without even any cupboards built in. Um, because like this space I'm sitting in here, it's, it's you know, it's, it's decent. It's like, you know, lots of room. Um, and I can, we can just put our collapsible stools in here to sit on and uh, we could even set up a tiny little camping table if we want. Um, but there's plenty of space to be in it even if it's raining outside. Um, I have some weather shields coming, the, the, the ones that go over the top edge of the, the front windows. So if it's raining, I've got, uh, I can have the windows open a crack and I can also uh, open the back tailgate a crack and I've got a uh what do you call it go away mozzie I've got a a, <laughs> a mozzie screen obviously not in there now um to cover that side and I've also got a mozzie screen to cover the sliding door in front of me here I do have some mozzie screen things that will go over the front windows but they're the type that go on the outside and I found that when it rains, it actually wicks water right inside the front door. So that's not ideal. Um, I may just have to rig up some dodgy screen or something that I've used blue tape with. I, I have no idea, but I'll, I'll figure something out so that we can open the front windows a crack. First uh, thing that I need to do, shorten this mattress. Um, I think that's the minimum that I need to do before we go on a short trip. And then after that will be our long trip to Adelaide. Um, the short trip will give us an idea of what we might need in here just to be comfortable. I guess a, a long trip in it, that'll be a really good way to figure out what we want to put where. Oh, and I am going to need to fix this into place um, because I don't want it sliding when I drive. So I think I'll get some brackets or something that can go on that. Uh, and also um, also on the bed frame under here somewhere to hold that in place on top of that drawer. All right, let's see how we go. I have measured this string at both ends and got it set up nice and straight on the top and on the bottom. And then I can use my pocket knife and slowly saw away at that. <sighs> pocket knife isn't ideal, but now that I've got a guide, That'll make it a lot neater than the last time I cut some foam. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty neat. I have to shorten the um, cover. So I think I'm just going to do a really sort of quick whip stitch kind of thing. Just sort of tuck the excess uh, underneath or something. I'm not going to go to any great effort with that. Just make it really simple. I've started here, the edge, and I will be stitching all the way across there. And um, as you can see, I've just done a bit of a, not a whip stitch, I've done like a bit of a blind hem thing. Can't remember what that stitch is called. There we go that bit cut off and the excess all stitched up all the way to the end oh, and I suppose I can take this little thing off now that I used to access the zip done I think I might put a mattress protector on here now and um oh and then put that fitted sheet back on as well. 
not bad if I do say so myself. I wanted to tell you one more thing before I go. Um, I have started a Patreon. I, it was something I was considering for the future, um, but not for a little while yet. But um, a couple of friends encouraged me and said, you should start a Patreon. And um, so I caved and I have. And if you are interested in joining my Patreon, that would be awesome. Uh, I've got three different tiers um, and even the lowest tier uh, will sort of give you pretty good value. I've updated my Patreon several times already and I'm really quite enjoying it. So um, I think it'll be a cool spot to hang out and we can sort of get to interact sort of, you know, sort of in a more, what do you call it? a more personable way i guess than in the comments on youtube so yeah i'd love it if you're uh if you join my patreon if you're interested if it is not your thing or if it's not in your budget i totally get it so what you can do instead is just continue to watch my videos always hit the thumbs up button and um yeah subscribe if you haven't already so uh that'd be really cool and of course i'll put the links for my new Patreon in there. So uh, yeah, come and join the fun. That'd be cool. Thank you. Bye.